A lot of people rent out rooms in their house. It brings in extra money and sometimes the home is big enough to accommodate a few tenants. Notice that I said the word tenant. What things should you consider when renting a room in your house? And that's the topic of this video. Hello again everyone, I'm attorney Robert Flesses. If you're new to this channel, now may be the time to subscribe because when you do subscribe, you'll know where to go to get answers to your legal questions. Well, renting a room in your house should be treated no differently than renting an apartment as a landlord. Here are the things that you should consider. First, provide rental applications to prospective tenants. Since they'll be living in your home, you want to know who they are, if they're able to pay their rent, check to see if they have a criminal history, and get references from previous landlords. You should always stay away from anyone who claims they can fix things in your home, and I'm going to tell you why. From my experience, they're basically announcing to you in advance that they're going to be struggling to pay their rent. Don't let any tenant fix things. If you get into a spat with your tenant, the fact that they performed work in your house will never be resolved no matter how much you try. Once you've made your selection, you'll want to hand them a rental agreement for their review. Some of the things that you should consider in the agreement is if your tenant fails to pay your rent. In most states, you need to file an eviction action just as you would in any normal rental situation. You should also get at least two to three months rent as a security deposit in the event that this tenant defaults. With three months of security deposit and the fact that they'll be in your home, you might be able to use the security deposit as a tool to have them quickly leave if you want them out. That way, you won't have to evict them and you might get them to move out quickly so they won't be grumbling in your house while you're waiting for an eviction court. You may also want to make the term of your lease a month-to-month -month basis. That'll allow you to see if you really want to continue renting to this person. You're also going to have to have a set of rules that they're going to accept and follow. For example, what are the terms for use of your kitchen, bathroom, and their bedroom? Part of those rules should set forth a time frame for inviting guests and when they must end their guest visit each time. You don't want your tenant to be having lots of people over for a party that'll go late into the evening. You also want to regulate any friends that'll stay over or prohibit extended stays to avoid a friend sneaking their way into staying forever. Parking arrangements should be set forth in the rules. Use of the yard storage of their belongings, and what belongings you won't accept in your home or garage. Think about it as if you have a teenage kid living in your home. There are rules and they must be followed. How are you going to segregate food in the refrigerator and freezer? Will you have a separate refrigerator and freezer? Will you be splitting the utility and Wi-Fi costs? What about volume for playing their music or watching TV? What about cleaning their room and bathroom? What level of cleanliness do you expect? Taking out the trash and where it needs to be placed? All of the things should be included in your lease and attached rules. And there's probably more situations that you could think of to insert into your lease. So your lease should pretty much mimic a standard residential lease. Getting a template of a lease online is sometimes not your best choice because each state has their own landlord-tenant rules. Some of those templates contain lease terms that don't conform to your local state laws. You should either consult with a local attorney that's familiar with leases or purchase a good lease from a store that sells well-written lease templates for lawyers. I could go on and on and on, but we'll end it here. I'm attorney Robert Flesses. Remember to subscribe, like, and share. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.